Are you having trouble getting everyone on your team to actually use monday.com? Let me share with you three tips that you can implement immediately to get everyone on board. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. The first tip that I wanna share with you is to get everyone on your team to actually use Monday is they need to see an example from either management or leadership. If your leadership or management team is not using monday.com, you're probably gonna have a hard time convincing everyone else to use it. Sometimes I see a lot of leadership saying like, you know, we don't really need to use it because it's only for them, but that's sending the wrong message to everyone else. So what I would try doing is making sure that your leadership is actually using it. Even if it just means dashboards or high level boards, you want to make sure that the leadership is setting the proper example for the rest of the team by actually using it. When the team sees that they definitely are more inclined to start using it. I had a client who um, we recently did an onboard, an implementation and an onboarding for him. And he came back to me a couple of weeks later and he said, you know, my team's not really using the tool. And I was like, well, why not? And he's like, well, we have an old system that I'm kind of using. So then they see that. And I'm like, well, there's your problem. You need to get the team to see that leadership is using it as well. My second tip on how to get your team to actually use Monday is through education and training. I find that unfortunately teams don't tr get trained enough in the tool. And then it's like obvious that they don't know how to use it because they don't understand it. Now, I think when we look at education, there's two different things that the team needs to be educated about. Number one, they need to understand how Monday works. They need to understand the basics. What's a board? What's a group? What's an item? How does this work? How do automations work? Basic, like Monday 101. There's a link to a video above or just search YouTube. There's tons and tons of other videos, but how to actually use Monday, not your specific workflow, just how to use Monday in general. What I've done to help um, facilitate this is we actually create a board and Monday, I think even has it as a template with like Monday 101 and it has all these different videos and articles that you can read, which is a great resource to just get your team to understand how Monday works. The second part of training is to actually train people in your specific workflow. Usually what happens is one person does an implementation and then the rest of the team is just told like, okay, no, now go use it. What I recommend is having a training session just on your specific workflow. This gives everyone a chance to ask questions and understand specific things to how Monday was set up for your team. So again, a Monday 101 training and a specific to your workflow training. Now, when we think about training, so I think um, just some tips that I've seen have been helpful. Number one, have live trainings where people can ask questions. Number two, offer them this board of um, the Monday basic training because they can go through it. You could track their process and they will learn that way. I've also seen companies implement office hours, which actually was a really, really helpful idea. Once a week, they had open office hours and anyone could just sign up and they they spoke to, um, I was on it a couple of times and the person on the team, the internal person on the team, and they just asked them questions. Like it was a chance for them to reach out to the Monday expert in the company and ask questions about what they are having trouble with. If there's not enough support for people that are just using Monday, they're not going to start using it. So I definitely recommend figuring out some kind of training session and support. And then you should just keep in mind that there is ongoing updates and features that change within Monday. So you may want to figure out a system to have that in place. So that way your team really understands what's going on with Monday and how to use it. My third tip is to try and gamify monday.com. They actually did this internally by creating the llama farm. And it's just a lot of fun to people for people to see the llama farm and to watch it. And then they see all their tasks turning green by which is represented in the llama. And you're like, yay, my llamas, more of my llamas are green. So you can either take this concept into a dashboard, like just how many completed tasks someone has, how many open tasks, or you can set up goals within a dashboard or test out the llama farm. It's just a lot of fun. On a side note, I will say that 
sometimes the llama farm to me is funny because like everyone's just kind of like moseying around in the meadow and not really doing anything. But I would kind of want like everyone who's green to kind of be like sipping margaritas or resting on the beach and everyone who is red to kind of be like running around doing things and keeping busy to kind of further show the point of like green is done and now you can relax because all your tasks are done and red or maybe orange is like not done. But anyway, the concept is there and I think the llama farm is really, really adorable. So I you know, highly recommend checking it out. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.